Welcome folks, Technivorous here. This is Kira. Now Kira is a 3D object slicing application. It's used in conjunction with your 3D printer to make almost anything. But how does it work? Stick around and find out. We'll go over each setting one by one, each in five minutes or less. And be sure to bookmark this playlist and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to share. It helps us out a ton. And now without further ado, today on Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 Edition. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. Welcome back, folks. As you can see, we have another Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less video going on. Today we are going to be really quickly covering printing temperature and the first six settings here. So this will be your filament and your bed temperature and they are all pretty well entwined. So we're going to begin with printing temperature. This is the temperature it's going to print the majority of the model at excluding the printing temperature initial layer and the final printing temperature. So the initial layer will print at this temperature and the final layer will print at this temperature. The initial printing temperature is the temperature that it will have to heat up to before it will start printing and it explains that pretty thoroughly here. The minimal temperature while heating up the printer, the temperature at which the printing can start. So nothing will move until it hits at least what you have entered in here. In most cases I will leave these all the same and we are printing PLA so we are in the 200 to 210 degrees Celsius range at 205 that is the standard for my pre PLA profile and works pretty much universally for 90 percent of PLAs although tweaking it a degree or two can alter your model a lot so be sure that you have it dialed in for your filament if you're not sure you can always run a temperature tower now in conjunction with this with this low printing temperature I just want to touch on the fan speed down here real quickly when you're using the PLA settings you're gonna want your fan on all the time and all the way so just keep in mind lower temperature fan on high if the temperature goes up you're probably gonna to want to reduce the fan a little bit and there are reasons why you will not want to run a fan at all if you're printing ABS but we'll save that for another video so let's talk about the initial layer temperature and that's gonna be this layer right here if I can get it to show up okay so I guess this is our first layer that's actually showing in the model oh uh, yeah of course I don't have the shell turned on that's why the first layer is not showing up so this is our first layer this is the layer that it's going to print at the printing temperature initial layer so if I change this to 200 it will cool down and print this layer at 200. However, it still won't start, even though the first layer is set to 200, it still won't start the printer until the hot end reaches this initial temperature. So in this case, it will heat all the way to 205, and then it will cool to 200 and start printing. Now, if I wanted to print that first layer at 200 and to start right when it hits 200, I could alter this as well, and it'll start printing as soon as it hits 200 degrees. Now, the final printing temperature is the temperature it begins to cool to, as it's coasting through the rest of the model. So basically, as it's printing the last layer, you can set it to start to cool down a little bit. Um, you can also set it to print a little bit hotter if you want to kind of remelt that. It can be good for ironing in some cases if you have a really large flat surface. But for the most part, all four of these settings are going to be the same, and there's really no reason to alter them to be four different settings. It's just going to increase your print time as the temperature has to go up and down in order to match those settings. So whatever you have as your printing temperature that is the temperature that's accurate for your filament and that number should work as well in these other settings I'm gonna go ahead and change these back before I forget maybe there we go uh, and then we're gonna discuss briefly the build plate temperature now build plate temperature and build plate temperature initial layer are the same thing so this is the temperature used for the heated build plate it will not start printing until it is heated so it says right here if this is zero the build plate is left unheated during the first layer so basically um, this is kind of backwards from that one so if I set this to 20 degrees it will only heat the build plate to 20 degrees and then it'll start printing and between that initial start and the next layer it will raise the bed to 65 degrees which is quite a large jump so it's probably gonna create a pause in there you don't really want to do that it's best to heat the bed to the temperature you're going to be using and just keep these settings both the same. In some cases of ABS and PETG printing, this setting can come in handy. 
for dealing with some adhesion issues, but for the most part, just leave it alone unless you absolutely cannot get it to stick to the bed and you need to increase the temperature or decrease the temperature accordingly. So pretty simple video today, guys. We're basically just talking about temperature and this is the most basic thing that you need to know. If you don't have the right temperature for your filament, you're going to get problems with your extruder, your hot end's gonna clog, your print's not gonna come out right. So temperature is a very, very important thing. And we are gonna cover the rest of these material settings in future videos as well, as they do have a lot to do with the outcome of the model. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Well, that's it guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.